mainly looking for the travel corridors or just putting it where, you know, deer density is the highest and that's why I typically like established food plots, edges, and water. You know, those are the three most important things. If you've got a palatable deer feed, um, when you first get some of these free choice feeders, or if you build your own, a lot of people build the troughs with the roof over the top of them. When a deer comes out, if they've never seen that before, they're gonna look at it like a cow at a new gate. They're not gonna know what it is and they're gonna run back. Um, there's not many deer in the union that I know of that have not seen a spin cast feeder though. What typically works if you're going to try and establish a permanent feeding station for supplemental feed um, is get you a spin cast feeder and just park it about 10 foot from your free choice protein feeder. Bringing those deer in there and getting them around it, they'll eventually stick their nose in it. That and deer that have never ate pelleted protein, and this stuff's very, very palatable, but a lot of times it might help just to throw. You don't have to mix it with corn when you put it in there like a lot of the feed companies say you do, but I, Whenever we set up a new one, I'll throw a handful of corn in every tube or on top of it just to let them go over there because there's not a deer, I don't think, that doesn't know what shell corn is.